In today's tutorial, we'll be creating this reflective animated 3D text within After Effects, but without using any plugins. So usually I'll create this using Element 3D, which is my favorite plugin, since it's fast and easy to use, but since After Effects implemented a lot of new 3D features, I kinda wanted to test them out and see how close we can get to it. So let's start off by creating our text layer here. I'll type in golden, and here's a quick tip, I'll hit Ctrl Alt Home to center my anchor point in the text, and Ctrl Home to center it in my composition. I will also change the color of my text here, and this is the color I'm going to be using, it's the hex code of a golden color. This will be in the description as well, so you can go ahead and paste this. Now let's start off by animating our text. So I'll go into the drop down menu here, and under Animate, let's select Tracking. And this is just basically creating a spacing between the letters. Now here is a quick fix for something that I found very annoying and couldn't figure out for a while. So if for example you're increasing the tracking amount and it goes from left to right or something and not from the center, all you have to do is go into your paragraph here and make sure you select the center one. So there's that. Let's go ahead and set this to 100 and set a keyframe here, go to about 5 second long. Let's actually hit N to shorten our composition and I'm going to trim it to my work area and set this to zero. So this just comes in closer and I also want to add a random rotation to each one of these letters here but in 3D space. So I'll click on animate again, select rotation and under this add that it pops up I'm just going to select property and enable pair character 3D. So this just gives us the ability to rotate our text in 3D space but as you can see, it's pretty uniform and there's no randomness. So let's set this to something like 50, 20, and 50. It doesn't really matter. And to make this random, I'll go into my add here again, selector, and select wiggle. So now if we play this back, you can see it sort of shakes between the letters. And to disable this, we'll simply go into the wiggle here and set the wiggle per second to zero. So we can go ahead and set something random here. And I'll just set keyframes for these three, go to the end of my composition and set them back to zero. And lastly, I just want to add a quick scale so the layers appear slowly. So let's go ahead and add another animator and we'll select scale and just keyframe it from zero to 100 throughout our composition. So this is the basic text animation here. You can see we got the random rotation, scaling and tracking. Actually, I'm going to hit U to bring up these keyframes and just speed this up a little bit here. And I'll also select them, hit F9 and go into my graph. Let's select all of these and drag them to the left here. So it animates faster at the beginning. Drag these as well. And that's our basic 3D animation. All right, you can always go back and animate this however you want to and also change the color. But this is the basic animation we're going to be using. So let's create a camera since we are getting into 3D here and this will be okay. And I'll switch back to my normal view. Now I want to go ahead and make our text 3D. So if you right click on your comp here, go into composition settings and under 3D here, you can change the renderer from classic 3D to advanced 3D and that tells you what it does and what it disables. Click on OK. And now if you go into our text layer here, you can see we have an option called geometry option, which is not available on the default renderer. And basically, if we increase the extrusion, you can see we're getting some 3D text. So this is pretty cool. Let's just set this to something like 150. And you can also select a bevel style here. And that just creates an edge around our text here. So you can see we can change this from angular to convex. And whatever fits you, just go ahead and adjust that. So you can see we've got the 3D animated text driven by the 2D animation we created previously. And that was fairly simple. So let's go ahead and start stylizing this. I'll go into my material options here and we're going to adjust a few settings. So I'll go into my specular intensity, set it to 80, the shininess here, set it to 100 and the metal maybe lower it down to 80 as well. And it just made it look a bit more reflective, but in order to make it more realistic, we're going to need to add an environment. So we can do this by actually creating a light. So if I'll right click here, select new light, you can go ahead and change the light type to environment and let's set the intensity to maybe 80 and we'll keep the shadow settings like so. So now if we click AA on our light, you can see we got an option called source and here we can basically import an HDRI image. Now there's a great website I like to use which is actually free and it's called Polyheaven and here you got a bunch of 3D HDRI maps 
which you can use for your 3D renders or whatnot. So once you got your HDRI image, which should look something like this, you can simply go ahead and drop it into your comp. Let's disable this here. And if we go back into our environment light, we can actually select it under our source. So now it's basically reflecting that image. So if I hit R on my environment light here, you can see I can rotate the environment around our image. So depending on your environment, just go ahead and adjust this however you need to. Let's say 180 here, and I'll set this to about eight. So now it's reflecting our environment, but once the text animation stops, it basically becomes static. And in order to give this a bit more life, I will go to the beginning of my comp here. I'll set a keyframe for my Y rotation, or you can do this with the X rotation. And I'll just give it a bit more animation. So maybe set the Y here to 15. So now once I play this back, you can see we got the environment still moving once our text animation is complete and it just adds a bit more life to it, which I figure is kind of nice. Let's go ahead and add a black background here and select everything, pre-compose it. So now let's just add a bit of color correction and some glow to add the final touch here. So I'll add a curves adjustment and just give it a basic S curve here like so. And maybe go into the red channel and just give it just a bit of redness here. And we also don't want to use plugins in this one. So let's go ahead and add the default glow here. And we can actually change the glow colors here to the A and B colors. And maybe set the threshold to 65, increase the radius to 20. And I can just duplicate this glow here, set the radius to 200 on my second one, duplicate it one more time and set it to something like 500. And we can also adjust some of the settings here. Okay, so this is basically how you can create this reflective 3D text with After Effects without using any plugins. Now, if you want to change the color, for example, all you have to do is go into your text layer and simply change the color of your text. So if we make this grayish, it turns to some sort of chrome effect here, red and you know, so on. So basically adjust this to however you want to. You can also add some camera animations to go around it. And yeah, this is how simple it was. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.